In this session, we'll try to understand how we can run Elasticsearch and Kibana as containers. So I have written a blog on running Elasticsearch and Kibana as Docker container. Here I have defined some steps to complete this process and we will be running uh, Elasticsearch and Kibana with these steps as Docker uh, containers using docker run command. So let me start executing these steps. So let me go here and execute. I already have the Elasticsearch, Elastic uh, Elastic-net uh, network already. So I don't need to create that. At the time of this video, I'm running Elasticsearch 8.15.0. Uh, so I'm exporting these variables. And this is to hide what password uh, is set to the elastic password or what password is set to Kibana. Uh, I'm hiding these variables. Even I don't know what value is set here until I echo them. Uh, so let's try to run the elastic search container. So it created the container. See, it takes around uh, uh, 40 to 50 seconds to become healthy. So we should wait at least 40 seconds for now, but otherwise uh, we don't need to uh, wait for it. But let's uh, before within 40 seconds, let's try to understand how we can check Elasticsearch logs. So Docker logs, Elasticsearch logs. So it's doing some stuff. Let's try to minimize this screen and understand what we have here. Okay. So now Elasticsearch is, will become up. Uh, now I think we already done with 40 seconds around, yes. So let's move here. Most of the time you don't need to check, check this initially, but until you face any problem uh, with the logs, you have to wait for uh, Elasticsearch to show the current health is green. Otherwise, you can just verify this, whether our API is healthy or not. So cluster name is Docker cluster. This is a default name and status is green. So the cluster is green. And now we can set the Kibana password in the Elasticsearch API. So the password is set from the initial uh, exports and it should reason, uh, return this empty, uh, empty object. That's fine. And uh, now the Elasticsearch API is set with the Kibana password and we'll use the same password and run the Kibana so that Kibana now connects to the Elasticsearch on this particular host with the Kibana system user and a Kibana password. So we now we are running two containers one container is Kibana, the other container is Elasticsearch. Now let's go here and uh, connect to 5601. So yeah, here I, I did a clipboard copy uh, as I don't want to show what is my password. So I just do execute this command so that uh, the current uh, value of this Elastic password is copied into the clipboard. Even I don't know what is the value set for it. And let's try to open Elasticsearch. Uh, Kibana UI. So username is, so we'll understand this from the, uh, the blog itself. A default user is Elasticsearch and password is the one which I copied. Otherwise you can just do a echo here and then you will view that uh, value in your uh, terminal. So even I don't know the password, I just, it's already in my clipboards. So I just paste it. That's it, your Elasticsearch and Kibana is up and you can uh, see the Elasticsearch dash, uh, sorry, uh, Kibana dashboard connecting to the Elasticsearch. So uh, that's it for this session. Uh, I'll keep uh, continuing if there is any updates on this particular blog. Um, and uh, in future I'll continue to explore things about Elasticsearch and try to uh,
create the blogs or create the videos as possible thanks for watching and encourage me to create uh, encourage me to create the content uh, further and uh, i'll try to 